What's that you say? You want at least five more Fast and Furious movies? Yes! Well, then I've got good news for you. <laughs> in a recent story in Variety, it has been revealed that Vin Diesel and company are not only looking at three new Fast and Furious movies, but also several spin-off films as well, one of which could be a standalone movie for Dwayne Johnson's character, Agent Hobbs. Mark, do you buy or sell the idea of five more Fast and Furious movies? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's buy it. Let's do 10. Let's yeah. do 20. I feel like, like it's like Oprah now. Just you get a Fast and Furious movie. Yeah. You get a Fast and Furious Under your movie. chair. There's a Fast and Furious movie. It, it, it sounds ridiculous that you're going to have that many more of these movies. However, when you throw the notion at me that Hobbs could have his own movie, then maybe Vin Diesel pops in or somebody else because they're expanding this universe. It is all of a sudden a shared universe. You have villains in there. You have heroes. And they can go off and do their individual little movies and then maybe come together back as a collective whole every so often for a Fast and Furious proper sequel. So, yeah, as ridiculous as it sounds, people are going to go see these. And I think there's going to be some at this table. Shep? Yeah, I buy like 11, 12, 13 mm -hmm. movies as well. And, and Hobbs End, uh, that's the title for, uh, you know, Hobbs if, End. If you uh, horror fans get what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, Hobbs, I would love to see, uh, you know, just a standalone rock character, the Hobbs movie. You know, that would be a great movie. I think they already talked about three more. I mean, when Vin Diesel was like, to finish up our trilogy, I was like, oh, they got three more. Because he's, you know, and ancillary characters. Why not? It's a really fun series. I say Chuck Ezra Miller in there as the punster. You just add <laughs> him. Punster. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm going to buy it, too. And here's the thing. With the exception of this most recent Fast and Furious film, which was financially the biggest they've ever had, for the past three ones, not including this last one, have all gotten better and better and better and better. I thought this most recent one was a bit of a step. I still had fun with it. Yeah. I had a, I had a good time watching the last Fast and Furious movie, but I thought it was a bit of a step down from what was the one for it? Seven, six, five, uh, four, was, three, yeah, six. whatever. Six. Fast Five Furious. The most recent was seven. That's right. Yeah. Um, so I, I, they've all gotten better and better. There's a lot of fun, but you guys have both nailed it exactly. The prospects of a Hobbs standalone movie is great. And also, look, they want to marvelize this universe. They yeah. want to create a big expanding universe. And let's not forget, they made they did something really, really right with these last two films. They created great villains and then didn't kill them off. Mm -hmm. So remember, Jason Statham and Luke Evans are still out there. And remember how the last Fast and Furious movie ended with Hobbs down there talking to him through the thing, I'll be waiting for you, boy. It's like, yeah, I want to see that. Mm -hmm. So, look, you asked me this six years ago, more Fast and Furious movies, screw you. But I, I got to admit, I'm on board. I think this sounds pretty fun. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.